Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out these photosynthetic organs and going over today's science file. Do plants breathe? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a glass jar, a leaf, and some water. Today, I'm going to show you that plants breathe just like you and I. Well not, well, not, well, not just like you and I. I mean, you and I have lungs and plants don't. But, you know, they do take in and expel gases. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about, you know, <laughs> pants tuba here. I'm talking about they actually breathe. So, the first thing you're going to need, put yourself, oh. Oops. <laughs> okay, get yourself a clear glass jar. It's got to be clear because you need to see through it. You see? <laughs> okay, get yourself next a cabbage leaf. I got mine from the cabbage patch. <laughs> okay, you're going to place this end right here into the jar first. Okay, so now you got to fill this jar all the way to the top. All the way to the top? Yeah, all the way to the top. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, this is why I use a glass jar, because you're going to need that glass jar lid. You're going to screw the lid on top. And by the way, that water's almost overflowing. So if you don't want a mess, don't screw this up. <laughs> now, you're going to take your glass jar and you're going to place it outside on a sunny day. Let this sit in the sun for about two hours. Now check it out. You can see tiny little bubbles on the leaf. Those bubbles are oxygen bubbles that the leaf is giving off. Now that's so wicked cool. So why does a leaf give off tiny bubbles of oxygen? And why are leaves green? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Plants make their own food through a process known as photosynthesis. Light causes chloroplast molecules in a leaf to get energized, or causes them to vibrate faster and faster, until eventually they get so much energy, they begin to lose electrons to other chloroplast molecules. Water in the leaf gets broken down into hydrogen and oxygen atoms, and most of the oxygen atoms are released from the leaf into the air. The hydrogen releases some of its electrons to the chloroplast molecules, thus creating an electric flow. This sets off a chain reaction that will lead to the formation of food. Minerals in the water create chemical reactions to produce ATP. Carbon dioxide enters a leaf and is broken down into carbon through a chemical reaction. The carbon bonds with the ATP molecule as well as with hydrogen atoms and a few oxygen atoms to form a glucose molecule or better known as sugar. All plants make sugar, just different types, which are used to feed the plant cells as well as to be chemically changed into starch so the plant has stored up food. Plant leaves are green because light is made up of different wavelengths. The best color to lose would be the middle wavelength or green. This green color is perfect for stopping the plant from absorbing too much energy, as well as allowing the plant to absorb just the right amount of energy the plant needs to survive. So now you know how plants turn sunlight into sugar. You know, seeing plants breathe right at home is why science is so cool.